Hi Nicole, this is Lisa. Um, I really enjoyed your video interview to be a congressional researcher and I was really interested in what you were saying about uh, historians having uh, the ability to overcome bias. Um, it's a really important skill to have when you're doing historical research on any sort of legislation or a history of an area that a, that a congressman might have an, an interest in or if he needs background for some sort of law that he wants to pass, whether it be health care or education. Because as historians, we have to be aware of our own personal bias. That's one of the most important things that we're taught right, right from the get-go. And when we're doing research, we have to be aware of that personal bias. Because if we're not, it's going to color how we look at what we're trying to interpret and how we interpret the information that we, that we get. If our personal bias is influencing the way we interpret this information that the congressman wants, that when we, then when we give it to him, it's not going to be the best in, interpretation that the congressman needs. Um, and it's it's just very extremely important because Congress people have enough um, trouble trying to keep their own personal biases out of out of their work and just passing policy for for, for the sake of policy. So it's our job to make sure they have all the information that 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 they need as bias free as possible, so they can make the best decisions that they can make. Um, I'm really glad that you brought up that, that topic and um, I wish you the best for the, the, the rest of your school.